Universities from across the country came here to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to take part in the Indy Autonomous Challenge. I'm Meredith Hackler, and WRTV had the opportunity to be here in the pits with Indiana University, who competed in the competition. They say the technology they're using here can be used to help better develop the self-driving cars of the future. I never thought that uh, during my PhD I will be working on something like that. Uh, this is also a kind of new concept that we are trying to run a full-size car, like race car, fully autonomously. This IU student is just one of 250 PhD students from across the world taking part in the Indy Autonomous Challenge. The race was the brainchild of the Indiana Economic Development Corporation to study a different kind of automated racing. <laughs> race cars. The, the core technologies that are being developed and proven in the Indy Autonomous Challenge are pieces of the puzzle that has to come together for really safe autonomous mobility. These race cars serve three purposes. Testing the hardware, building a pipeline of talent that can work in the AI sector, and changing the hearts and minds of people who might find the idea of driverless cars scary. And the two side are also antennas. And those antennas will allow the car to know where it is. And educators believe it could be used to help some of humankind's most vulnerable populations. The people, when, once they get older, so their capability for, you know, for um, I would say, for understanding or for acting uh, rapidly can decrease. In this way, then uh, they might uh, have to rely on the self-driving car to help them to transport. This is the seventh event that the Indy Autonomous Challenge has held, and those events have taken place all across the world. They hope that the technology being tested here today can be deployed into the real world within the next five years. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Meredith Hackler, WRTV.